The memoir Tuesdays with Maury is a written account of a personal experience that、uh, has reference to the weekly meeting that、uh, take place between Mitch Abel and his deceased best friend Maury. The title on the phrase Tuesday with Maury means a meeting or session held on a Tuesday. Tuesdays with Maury's final chapter are incredibly. Moving as they reflect on how Maury's life has changed, and how he wants to come to terms with his death. He talks about how he wants to live out his remaining days in peace and quiet. He also talks about the legacy he wants to leave behind before he dies. Starting the memoir with mem、uh, Maury's illness uses the. Literary, literary, uh, technique effectively as it starts the narrative in the middle of a plot. When we think about a literary, uh, analysis, the first thing that comes to mind is the author's point of view, or an angel, or the angel they take on their subject. It is Maury's per,、uh, perspective in the in this instance. His usage usage of I and me pronouns is indicative of this. Speaking in the first person, a person singular also、uh, demonstrates his、uh, vulnerability. Vulnerability. An example of an aspect of this passage. I would like to highlight is when Maury's op optimi optimism optimism increases as he age ages and grows closer to passing away,、uh, largely because he has reached and reached a point where there is no turning back. He is aware of what is upon approaching, approaching, and has no choice. But to face is head on, which has changed his outlook outlook on life. Mitch makes use of pathos by generating sympathy and creating a deep emotional connection with audience towards Maury. Mitch also incorporates the use of imagery. To create an idea of what Maury was going through, for instance, he poses ALS, the disease Maury is suffering from, a dangerous as it gets to spread throughout Maury's body and every dis、uh, disable disable to、uh, disable the body parts from functioning. In every chapter, he reveals a new of a new aspect. Of the disease, he also gives Maury's、uh, progression with the disease. For example, he says the Maury <coughs> he says the Maury bought a walking stick,、uh, signifying that when Maury bought a walking stick, it was the end of Maury walking without support. He then tells us that Maury hired a home care worker. And this signified that Maury's condition、uh, condition had、uh, deteriorated, and he needed help, the support, and、uh, and this also signified the end of his privacy. Privacy.、Uh, the last chapter of this memoirs revealed the life lessons. That much that Mitch learned from Maury and、uh, concludes that it is never late to do anything. It is never too late to change the for better, and it is never too late to shift your、uh, properties from the memoir we have. We as we as the audience we get to learn that no only it is important to learn from our life experiences, but also it is important to learn from other people's experiences.